Hi, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and this is Ask Dave. We're answering comments here. This is a comment from Douglas V. Amateur Radio and More on the Alpha Delta Transit Trap Lightning Surge Protector, which was video number 61. It says, on my mast, I will only have one arrestor and no plate. How should I attach the bare ground wire? Well, first of all, let's take a look here. This is a picture of what you should have on the mast. This right here shows as just a plate, okay, just a plate, and you've got the two connectors like that with the barrel connector that's part of the plate, okay, and you can see the parts and stuff like this. You can get this at DX Engineering. Now, note there's no lightning arrestor there. The lightning arrestor goes right at the point where you have your single point grounding plate and that's where the lightning arrestor goes right there and so the lightning arrestor is right where the cable enters the house now the way i have mine set up i have a cabinet made by a kf7p it's got all the lightning arrestors in it and it forms this device right here and it connects directly to the ground just right outside now i should point out that you will want to ground your tower okay or if you want to just attach this to a ground right here there's a little stub on the end of the lightning protector if you're using the alpha delta it looks like this these are the coax connections this is where the arc tube goes and this right here what i did simply the very first time i did this was to put a hose clamp around here on the ground this is stainless steel so it can go right up against the copper without too much danger of corrosion okay so just a hose clamp around it stainless steel hose clamp tighten it down pretty good okay we do not do uh, soldered connectors for any of the ground system they are all compression connectors so there you have it until we next meet 73